Good afternoon everyone. I am Madhav and I am Chirag. Today we are here to explore how we can address contemporary governance challenges by drawing insights from the past and also leveraging digital technologies. We will be mostly focusing on the later part of it. Now that being said, governance both in past and present has faced numerous challenges ranging from inefficacies to corruption. Mind it, these have been persisted since the colonial times. But among these challenges lies a scope for improvement. Most probably by integrating digital technologies into modern society. So now let's delve into the connection between past struggles and present opportunities to promote democracy or democratic values in the governance. Now I would like to call Chirag to guide us for the same. So the first one is understanding historical governance challenges. Legacy challenges, continuing influence, unequal power dynamics, and strategy. I'll be discussing deeply about this in the next slide. Persistent problems from colonial rule. Since the colonial time, India's governance has mainly been experiencing three problems. The first one being power imbalance, where the uh, ruling elites are favored more than the masses. And the second one being corruption. Systemic corruption has led colonial administrators to favor their, uh, to exploit their position for personal gain. And the third one being inefficiency. Bureaucratic inefficiencies has led government not to act to their complete extent. And this in turn causes delays and misinterpretations. So, linking historical insights to contemporary events, echoes of colonial corruption. So, if you consider cases like the Dabol uh, power plant uh, corruption case, which was actually a uh, colonial era level corruption, there are two things that we know. One is the persistent government uh, issues like corruption, which in turn led to the original problem. And the second one is need for innovative solutions. Now, how can we do this? Like, there are instantaneous solutions that we can get, but the other way is learning from history. We can use historical, there will be historical patterns which we can use those valuable data, analyze them and gain valuable insights and use them in turn for getting getting solutions for contemporary challenges. Now about this, uh, I'll let Madhav continue. Digital technologies possess transformative potential to address contemporary governance issues. For example, platforms enhancing accountability, transparency, and citizen participation can reshape governance dynamics for better. For example, blockchain technologies can be used for transparent and tamper-proof government transaction records, thus reducing corruption. Not only this, AI can be employed for data analysis and finding corruption in and finding corruption in day-to-day -day life, and also. We can use AI to find inefficiencies in government operations or governance operations, thus leading to proactive intervention. Open data initiatives can also be used by the citizens to access government data, thus fostering more accountability and transparency in the functioning of government. Now you might be thinking that are these only the solutions or are there more innovative solutions in the digital world? There are, and some of them are being incorporated or will be incorporated in the future because we have stated it now. So yeah, so first is digital whistleblower platforms. These are the secure platforms or channels that the government has itself set up so that citizens can report any corruption or misconduct that they have experienced and that too anonymously. Second is social media monitoring for public opinion analysis. That is. The government can use social media data to understand public sentiment and thus make informed policy making. Third is online public consultation. That is, the government can use online platforms to engage a larger audience in policy making and public discussions about laws and rules that they are thinking of implementing. Digital privacy protections. With the increasing digitalization in everyday life, 
it is important for government to lay rules and regulation to safeguard the citizens right to data and their important data and the last and the most important point is online freedom of information requests this is according to us a rudimentary thing because it states that the citizen should have right to government data and every data that government possesses about the functioning of the country should be available to the normal public but it can be a might scary in some situations i think you can guess what are those situations now the most important question that arises is okay we have learned about these solutions that these solutions when incorporated into the government will make governance more democratic but have you thought how will these get incorporated for that i would like to request you all again to guide us implementing solutions for democratic or digital solutions promote citizen engagement digital solutions are crucial for fostering democracy and that can be done by uh, enhancing citizen engagement transparency and accountability for governments transparency and access to information now that is the, one of the uh, advantages of uh, digital solutions that is uh, one of the ways in which we can implement digital solutions is by creating online platforms such as e petitions and interactive decision making systems where the citizens themselves can participate in them and gain experience and also the other advantage is uh, nowadays you can get uh, easily we can get easy information about the government itself so then the citizens can make more meaningful inform inf informative decisions and also uh, the they can actively engage in political discussions compared to before promoting inclusivity and empowering citizens by promoting in inclusivity and empowering citizens the digital solutions themselves help in uh, creating a better form of governance 